Guys, the next person we have coming up here is this guy runs a 120 million plus mortgage team in Pennsylvania. He also created the loan officer experience where he helps loan officers to level up, add more realtors to their business. And he is the author of the nine figure blueprint on how to stop being a loan officer and how to start running a mortgage team. And super excited to have you guys. Welcome, help, help me welcome Michael Mann to the summit. Yeah, yeah, brother, cool. Hey, I saw another name on the bottom of that nine figure blueprint book. Uh, nice, uh, Mr. Nicholas Carpenter, brother. Hey, I thank you for that opportunity. That was awesome, that was a fun experience and uh, get a lot of really cool feedback from that. So thank you for that. For sure, man, it was awesome to do it with you. <laughs> um, dude, Rene Rodriguez. I don't know if he's still on here, but um, that's that's that was that's epic stuff. I mean, that's epic, next level stuff, right? Um, hey, hold on for one quick second. I, uh, I attempted to put my tablet on. I wanted to see if I could do a virtual whiteboard here, but that's that wasn't going to work. So well, so um, yeah, so Renee's stuff is next level stuff. It's super awesome. And the one thing that he ended with was um, he said, uh, declare, declare, what do you want? Who do you want to be? Declare. That's, I mean, you know, when I was down in Miami, I talked about the six steps, declare, define, decide, create, commit, complete. The first step is declare, like declare who you want to be in this time. Uh, I, I, and if you didn't get a chance to see his post, Renee's post is Renee's one post that he talked about the leaders that you don't want to be well, is absolutely amazing. Dead spot on. So awesome. Cause right now leaders are being formed in this industry. Leaders are being formed. Also people that, um, are not going to experience very good results on the other end of this by the way that they're um, approaching this pandemic, the, the insensitivity, the lack of apathy, the lack of empathy, or the lack of empathy. Uh, people are going to remember that for a very, very long time. So I'm just echoing, you know, his, his sentiments there, but I want to, want to jump into those six things, declare, define, decide, create, commit, and complete. And then I want to talk about how we can do, use these meetings, use a, uh, use a zoom meeting, Nick, I got a quick question for you. Number one, can you hear me okay? Oh, yeah, sounds great. Cool. This doesn't sound like there's an echo or anything, right? No. Okay, super cool. <laughs> um, are you using Zoom webinar? Yes. Cool. Um, I'm going to actually talk today about how to use Zoom meeting for a more intimate um, experience when you're dealing with, you know, uh, 10, 15, or 20 realtors, or even 100. You know, we just had 108 agents on one of our calls. I used Zoom meeting. It was super cool. Um, I like this webinar, this webinar platform for this type of environment. But dude, when you're being influential with a group of agents and you want to do a lot of interaction, I'm going to share with you real quickly today how to do face-to-face -face meetings one-on-one -on -one, and stack them like you, I'm sorry, instead of face-to-face, -face, do virtual instead of face-to-face, -face, like you would stack them like you're doing a face-to-face -face meeting, right? Um, you can also do happy hours. We've done a virtual happy hour nearly every single week since this thing has started. We got 50, 60, 75, 80 people on last week. It was absolutely amazing. And the more that you do that right now, you know, like, like Renee said, declare who you want to be in this time. That's step one. Declare who you want to be. Number two is define. Like, what do you need to do to be the person that you want to be. Define the necessary required actions, the NRAs. So what I would be doing right now is if I'm talking to a group of people on a meeting, I'd be saying, hey, everybody, show me your pen that you're using to write notes. Get them up here, show me your pen, wave it around, very cool. And the interaction that you get from these people is really what keeps, their, um, keeps the attention, as opposed to just being another person droning on you know, I'm saying, hey, so let's pretend we're all up in here. I'm saying, do everybody just wave your pen around. I can't see if you're doing it or not, but I trust that you are. Wave your pen around, write this down. Define the NRAs, the necessary required actions. What is it? What's required? What are the details? For me, the details are, I mean, the, the, the necessary required actions are having three to five super powerful, super impactful meetings, face-to-face, -face, doing this is one of them. Tomorrow I have Senator Lisa Boscola, one of our Pennsylvania senators, 
and all the real estate agents in our in our state who cannot who have been deemed unessential they're all jumping on this call and we're jumping on with a senator so i'm looking to have over 250 people on a call tomorrow just in my local network zoom meeting doing the same exact thing getting some interaction and i'll i'll i'll, I'll do this i'll play along as as if i was on a meeting but that's the person that I want to be. I'm declaring that I want to be a leader in this time. And let me just talk about the, the, the I don't talk about it nearly as technical as, uh, as Renee does, but you know, the little guy, the, the, the three inches here between your, uh, between your forehead that tells you that who are you to be a leader in this time? Who are you to be powerful? Who are you to lead the masses? Well, who are you not to be? There's a quote by Nelson Mandela um, I don't remember the exact same thing, but I love it every time I read it. I don't remember the exact words, but it's like, who are you not to be a leader in this time? Um, you know, let your light shine. You, who, who am I? Dude, I'll be honest with you. I'm just a nobody. I'm a nobody from Allentown, Pennsylvania. I grew up in a row home in Allentown. You know, I'm just, I'm just a kid. I'm just a boy. I'm just a little boy. I'm just a little boy, you know, trying to get through this path as well. But what I'm declaring, what I'm deciding is I want to be a leader. Um, I want to lead us through this time, loan officers and real estate agents alike. So I'm having three to five of these powerful meetings every single week. We're hosting a happy hour every single week, a virtual happy hour, and we're having fun. I'll get in a little bit more detail about that soon. But um, so after you declare and define, you need to decide, right? Yes or no. Is this what you're going to commit to? Because people are going to sniff you out. If you just want to try this and dabble it for a little bit, and be like, hey, I'll do a cool post this time. And then I go back to like, like he said, Tiger King and all this stuff and dude, Hey, that's funny too. I'm going to be a leader, but I'm throwing funny posts out there as well. I got a mix of like all of Renee's things, right? I've got like 10 personalities. It's awesome. But um, you, you can do that, but you got to define ultimately at the end of the day, if you had to pick one, who do you want to be? And I want to be a leader. I just want to lead us through this. I want to be optimistic. Um, and then you need to create, so number one, go ahead and write this down. Number one, we got declare. Number two, we got decide. I'm sorry, two, we got define. Three, we got decide. Number four is create. Create the character that you need to be. Um, I don't remember if I went into details about this in, in Miami, but I think it's always great to, to, if you've heard this before, write it down again. Create the character that you need to be. Um, who do you need to be to carry out the mission? And the story that we um, tell the most is the story that we believe the most. If you feel that you can't be a leader in this time, you're absolutely right. Henry Ford said that. Whether you think you can or you can't, you're absolutely right. But if you create the character that you need to be, again, I'm just a little boy from Allentown, Pennsylvania, who failed into the mortgage industry years ago, and eight years failed over and over and over again, living my same year over and over again, different, same result. And then one day, boom, we changed the way we did things. We became a leader in this industry, built a 120 million plus team. And quite frankly, we're going to do more this year. We're going to grow. We're having, the, we're, having the greatest, we're having the greatest year that we've ever had, even in this downturn. And I know a lot of people are doing a lot of volume, but it's not all bolstered by refis, man. We're, our purchase is still strong. So we're going, to be, you know, we're going to be up there again. And I told my team, I said, I decided that we aren't going to let this affect us. I've decided that we aren't going to use this as an excuse. And I also told my team pretty straight that if anybody takes this as a vacation, you're probably not going to be here at the end of this. And I was honest. I don't like to have conversations with that with people I love, but I also wanted to be clear in my intention that I am going to do more than most anybody will do in this marketplace. We're stepping on the gas. We're not retreating. We're playing defense, defense, offense. Most people are wanting to play defense, defense, defense. <clears throat> so we did, we, we did our two defensive steps, and then we said, boom, we're stepping on the gas. So – Creating the character that I need to be is this optimistic leader who's realistic, but also has true optimism that we're only going to be in this for 60 to 90 more days. And we're going to see a huge surge back into the into, into real estate. Um, I think commercial is going to take a huge hit, but our residential real estate is going to be huge. Uh, we're going to have more listings than ever because of the pent up demand. The buyers are still there. And especially after this, People aren't going to want to be trapped in their apartment in case this ever happens again. Dude, people are going to want to be buying houses. I'm telling you. So I said, we're going to utilize. We're, we're going to move forward. We're going to step on the gas. And I want to create that leader that everybody wants to follow. And then, you know, number five is commit. 
You got to commit. You can't just go half in. You got to go all in. You can't just tip your toe in the water. You're either committed or you're not. You do what's required every single day. And then at the end of that is complete. So complete, stop stopping, quit quitting. Once you have one meeting, start to plan the second one. Start to plan the third one. Start to plan next week. Dude, we're doing this. At, I'm, I'm committed, dude. I am not stopping. Quit quitting. Stop stopping. Keep rolling. Do I have people that, get, that, that, that send me messages and go, hey, I'm sick and tired of seeing your stuff? Absolutely. Cool. There's a delete button. All good. See you later. Because I have a hell of a lot more people that are reaching out to me now going, oh, my God, dude, I'm so thankful for you. My God, you just changed my life. You changed my day, right? And you could change somebody's life by doing that. So, you know, that's the, that's the section on create, commit, uh, de define, <laughs> declare, define, decide, create, commit, and complete. Again, um, being um, mindful. How much time do I have? Because I want to jump into these uh, Zoom meetings, how to use them to be super influential. Oh, you're still good. You got 15 minutes. Sweet. Um, so when you're sharing your message, right? You say you're sharing your message. You have to have the, there's four C's. How many C's? If I was in person, I'd be having you yell four C's. If I was on a zoom meeting, I'd be unmuting everybody and going, how many, how many C's and having everybody yell back four. I'd probably say something like, well, that was terrible. You guys need to, you know, Hey, everybody got to be on here. Look up eyes up here. And I'm grabbing people's attention while I'm doing this. Now I'll have a screen. The last meeting we had 108 people on here. So I had three screens of, of, of things that I could like toggle through, but I'm getting everybody's eyes up here and I'm saying, Hey, everybody hear me. Okay. Thumbs up, keep them up. And I'm looking and I'm scanning. Now again, guys, this is in zoom meeting where you can get everybody on and, and, and see everybody in gallery view. So I'm going, Hey, Hey Nick, can you hear me? Thumbs up. Cool. Go ahead and leave them up. And then I'm looking around for everybody and I'm calling people out, dude, that don't have their thumbs up. And I'm like, Oh, wait for Joanna. Let's get Joanna up there. Cool. Oh, we're not waiting for Renee. Renee, get your thumbs up there. Cool. Just want to make sure you can hear me. And it's a super totally interactive meeting. But so anyway, four C's, right? How many? Four. Cool. Consistency, certainty, capacity, and clarity. The first one, consistent message. Renee talked about that. Number two, lead with certainty. <clears throat> There's so many people that are in a, such a bad spot, a bad place, a bad position right now, that if you lead with certainty, you are going to end up being a leader. So you may ask, hey, Mike, and I want to do, do me a favor. This is where I would say on a Zoom meeting, show of hands. How many have this question? When I say show of hands, I don't mean go up like this, but give me your hand right here. To, give me a palm right to the thing. Cool. You guys can play along. I can't see you. I just hope that you're doing it with me. Give me a palm if, if you feel this way, right? If you feel this way, give me a palm. But I don't know. I'm not sure if we're going to get out of this. I'm not sure when it's going to be over. Give me a palm if you feel that way. Okay, cool. Well, here's the deal. Do you think that this will last forever? Yes or no? Type it in the chat box. This, this I can do here because I think, I think I can see the chat box. Anybody out there in, uh, in the land? Go ahead and type in the chat box. Do you feel that this is going to last forever? Yes or no? I don't know if I can see the chat or not. But most people will say this will not last forever. And I would say, are you certain about that? Yep. Cool. Then leave with that message. This will not last forever. Could it last 18 months? Yeah. 12 months? Yeah. Probably not. I'm telling you, it's, it's 60 days to 90 days until we start to see a big turn back in the market. And I am certain about that. I have talked to some top economists. Every single week, Dave Stevens, Barry Habib, I'm on the calls with them every single week. They're saying the exact same thing. So consistency and certainty. Um, the other thing is clarity. You want to be clear. Be clear what you're going to do and how you're going to lead coming out of this. Be clear about your message. Clear about who you are, where you're going, and what is your holy cause. And tell people, I want to lead you. Every single loan officer that's on here right now, I want to be your leader. I want to lead you through this, this tough time. Now, invariably, there's some people that are, that, you know, hey, you know, the statistics are 25% of the people that meet you will like you no matter what. 25% will hate you no matter what. Even if you walked on water, even if you'd walk on water, they would say you couldn't swim. 25% of the people aren't going to like you no matter what. The other 25, there's another 25 that like you, but if you did something really stupid, they won't like you anymore. And there's another 25 that's like, eh, I don't know about this guy, but if you did something great, they would like you. So here's the deal. 
you, not everybody's going to like you, and that's okay. I want to lead the people who want me, who, who, who are attracted to this message. I want to lead the people out of this tough time, just the ones that want to be led. So, and then the other one here is the capacity. You got to be able to do it. You know, if, 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 if you're, if right now you're struggling and you don't have any money or don't have any loans, don't go on and, and say your things are fine. Be honest, have the capacity to lead. Don't, don't have somebody follow you just because you want the, um, the, the feeling of being a leader, you know, go out and get educated, go out and, 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 and align yourself. I mean, that's why I'm here, dude. I'm here to present, but I'm also here to learn, man. Never stop learning. So those are the four C's of your message. So if you do your meetings in Zoom, now I'm going to go deep into the Zoom stuff right now, and you, and you go forward with those four C's of, uh, of communication, and, and, and that's not enough. So here's the deal. That's not enough in this environment because you're on Zoom. You're, you're competing now with people in their homes. How hard is it, Nick, sometimes to wrangle a group of 100 and 150 people in a room when you're at a webinar, right? Or not a webinar, at, a, at an event, right? It's hard to wrangle those strangers. They're going to the bathroom, they're on the phone, they're grabbing coffee. Well, how hard do you think it is to wrangle a group of 150 people out of their house? <clears throat> Dude, I got TVs in the background. I don't know if you can see this. I built a fort for my kids yesterday. They're down here, up and down. And I'm like, go upstairs. I'm doing Facebook Lives. I'm like, honey, you, kids, you got to go. There are people, there's wives, there's kids, there's grass cutting, like, and then behind me, I, my, I, moved, I moved my office down to my bar downstairs. So behind me, I've got all the liquor and whatever, and it's two o'clock. And so some of you guys, it's nine o'clock in the morning, you're thinking that, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. But you're competing with all the other stuff that over there in their environment. So we have to keep engaged, keep interacting. Keep interacting. So if you, here's what I would be doing right now at this point, if I saw everybody on the screen. Hey, if y'all know what I'm talking about, dude, give me a fist bump. Nick, give me a fist bump. Shake it around a little bit. Very cool, brother. Now you got to continue to do that to keep people engaged. And do me a favor. I'm going to go ahead and believe that all the people that are on here are doing it with me. Everybody, give me a fist bump to the camera. Yeah, drop us a fist bump in the comments. What's that? <laughs> Tell them to drop us a fist bump. Drop us a fist bump in the comments too. Yeah, fist bump in the comments. That's cool. I like that. Yeah, so I use a lot of um, visual interaction as opposed to the comments, but right now, let's do it. Let's use the comments. Type the word fist bump if you guys are good. So I use Zoom meeting, not webinar. And the cool, you, you can use the um, uh, basic version of Zoom if you like, but the pro version has so many more things that you can control. I know Bill Daniels is probably on here. <laughs> Bill was on a phone call with me last week and we were walking him through the benefits of um, Zoom Pro. And we looked at basic to pro, he upgraded immediately. And then the, the, the functionality was so much better. You're able to like not require a password. You're able to mute people on, on entry, but also it increases your capacity up to 300 people in a meeting. Now we're gonna have a meeting tomorrow with our Senator, I'm hoping we're like worried about maximum capacity. We're, we're going to have between 200 and 250 people on that call. So we'll see what happens. But um, Zoom meeting works so much better than webinar because you can see this interaction. Um, it's okay to require cameras. So like right now with everybody getting used to Zoom, more people are getting on camera than they ever would before. I used to have people on my team that are like, oh, I don't want to be on camera. Okay, well, that's cool but you have to be. So go ahead and turn your camera on. Oh, well, my camera doesn't work. Well, okay, cool. We're going to send you a new one or something. You know, I, I'm just not taking people that are coming on to our happy hours that aren't on camera. I'm just saying, Hey, no offense guys, but if you can't activate your camera, we're probably going to go ahead and boot you out only because I don't want this to be a um, me just speaking to people that may or may not be paying attention. So I really want to have this be interactive guys. Okay. So if that's cool, give me a thumbs up. Hey, so everybody here, if that's cool and you like that idea, type yes into the chat box. I just want to see. Again, I can't see it. Nick, you can on your side, but that's cool. Um, so using the meeting, require the cameras, um, and then getting to the part where I'm talking about, require interaction. So remember, in, Nick, remember Miami? 
We were talking when I, was, when I was doing my thing, I was doing a two clap. Yep. So everybody give me a two clap. Right. So you saw how you saw how in sync Nick and I were, right? And it's horrible. <laughs> it's horrible on camera. Watch this. We'll try it again. Hey Nick, give me two clap. All right. Well, that never really worked out so well. And I always try to try that and people are laughing a little. So I go, okay, so that's not gonna work out, man. So this right now is gonna be a round of applause. Give me jazz hands. Then give me jazz hands if you like what we're talking about. Cool. So you see how every 45 to a minute and a half, I'm getting them to look back up in the camera. And I'm, you know, I'm calling people out too. It's okay to call people out if they're on the phone, call them out. Be like, oh, hey, hey there, Jim. I see you're taking the phone, taking a personal call. I'm gonna go ahead and mute you. Even though they weren't unmuted, I'm gonna say, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and mute you. They're like, oh, 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 oh. I'm just trying to get that interaction back. So we do this, jazz hands for a round of applause. I do like to do fist bump. But now fist bump is like my knuckles are just from washing my hands. It's terrible. So I got to go to something new. I figured it out. Maybe go lefty or something. Even that sucks. Fist bump, jazz hands. Um, I like to do, I like to pull the group by saying, um, hey, do you like this content so far? Is this helpful? Give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down. And then I look and I watch. And if somebody gives me a thumbs down, I get a, come some of these every once in a while. I go, okay, cool. So so Mary's a little half and half, and then she laughs. And, you know, it's just a really cool way to be like you're in person. And, uh, you know, I was, I was lucky enough to be on a two-day webinar, like right when this thing started, and was able to start learning some of this, some of this stuff. I've been using it for weeks, and I got, a lot, I got a, lot, um, a lot more used to it. And it's, it really becomes fun. It really gets people um, a lot of interaction. So one of the things that I would say right now is, hey, if you guys are still with me, I want to unmute everybody. Say, yep. Yeah. Everybody, everybody's saying, yep, on the thing. Hey, if you guys are falling asleep, say, nope. You know, so again, another way just to keep interactions. The last thing I'll, I'll end with here is the four ways that we're using, or the, the, four, the four, my four main things that I'm using Zoom meetings for. I'm stacking one-on-one. -on -one. So we talked about this, Nick. We do, um, what would we call this thing? Uh, we call it the 10, 10, 10 system. Okay. You got 10, 10, 10. Oh, you, I thought you called it like Mike Mann's Magic Jack Oh, yeah, we called it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. We <laughs> I don't remember. Yeah. But, that's but, a great question. But, but, but it's basically stacking, right? And, and what's really cool, you got Michael Mayer coming on here uh, today yep. or tomorrow. Dude, uh, you know, credit where credit is due. I got that out He's of on tomorrow. Book. Sue, Super cool. Um, you took it out of Michael's book, the uh, home quarter advantage. And just, I did it in the mortgage industry. I know the book was meant for real estate agents, but I met realtors this way for two years. I did it two days a week. I met with over 800 agents in two years doing this stacking method. Well, guys, I, and, and my thing was, I used to say, Hey, don't waste gas. Never be late to another meeting. Never, not running around town. Cause you do it at your place. This is even cooler. You don't even have to drive to the one place. I mean, you can meet with your people here in the comfort of your own home. So I'm using this. I'm doing the stacking meetings one-on-one. Um, -on -one. I'm also doing group classes. So we're still teaching real estate classes. We're still teaching realtors right now how to talk to your database, how to stay in touch with your database without coming off salesy, how to stay in touch with that database and be, without being insensitive. I'm teaching one this week. <clears throat> doing group class. I'm doing it as a meeting. You have to have a camera to be on. If you don't have a camera, you're not going to be allowed in the class. Um, what's really super cool is we're doing happy hours. <clears throat> During these happy hours, we're playing games. I'm hiring live. Uh, I'm hiring local musicians, so I'm donating a hundred or two hundred bucks either to them personally. That's what I'm paying them to come on and play two or three songs. And you say, Jesus, that's a lot. Well, those guys, um, you know, you can change somebody's life by giving them a two hundred dollar uh, $200 PayPal thing for two songs. What's super cool is, you know, people are on here. It's a great feeling of connection. The very first time that I was on a happy hour and somebody hired a musician told the story that the musicians aren't making any money and we all need to support them. They open up a PayPal link so you can virtually tip the musician and the guy paid him. He played songs. Dude, I was in tears. And I'll never forget who that person was. It was amazing. You can be that, 
the connector, that networker of networkers, that connector of, of, of love. And you got somebody playing music live, you're introducing them, you're telling their story, they're staying the struggles. <clears throat> and I only do two songs, two or three songs. And then we go into talking a little bit and then I start to play a little trivia, which goes into my last thing is breakout rooms. So during your meetings, in order to break it up a little bit, I love to use breakout rooms. And you can, this is only in, in, Zoom, in, in the meeting portion of Zoom. You know, while we're doing our happy hour, we listen to songs. It was cool. Hey, is everybody thumbs up, thumbs down, fist bump. Hey, give them a round of applause to the, you know, musician. Yeah, cool. All right. So cool. The next portion, what we're going to do here is we're just going to, um, we're going to play a little trivia game. And you can break these people out into groups. And uh, you ask trivia questions. And when they come back, you keep score. Um, super simple. I just take the trivia pursuit cards. I ask like four or five questions. And then I give uh, $20 gift cards to Amazon for the winning group. Um, we also did um, a live virtual scavenger hunt, you know, have three or four things. Now, I keep these things to an hour. I think, I think you know, something like this, this, web, this webinar thing is awesome because there's broken up content. There's, you know, when it's just you, keep it to an hour. Ask two or three trivia questions. Do two or three scavenger hunt items. Have the guy play two or three songs. Um, open it up to the group. Have people talk. Um, create conversation. It doesn't only have to be you. So create conversation. Ask questions. Poll the group. The cool part is you're in control, too, and can mute and unmute everybody at, at, at one given time. So it is kind of a full-time job to do that. You know, people that are on the phone that are coming in, you're having to mute all. People that are trying to hijack your thing, mute all. Um, but you can unmute it to get people to give you a verbal response back. It's, it's, it's really a cool platform. And I think that when this whole entire CB19 thing is over, I believe this is going to be here to stay, number one, for the convenience, the cost, and quite frankly, the effectiveness. So, yeah, it's super amazing, man. Um, I'm sure I'm at the 15 minutes, brother. I mean, I could, I could, honestly, I could go on for two hours. Um, I got, I've got content that I can go on for two hours, but being respectful, if uh, you got any questions or anything or, you know, yank me, hook me and, and I'm off. Yeah, it was interesting. I mean, everybody definitely, you got a ton, you created a ton of engagement, you know, right? Because everybody was going in and, you know, doing the stuff that you normally would be doing, like you talked about doing it on a Zoom meeting where you can actually see people in person, you know, while I definitely acknowledge it's not the same, you know, people, you got the comments going crazy. So that, that's pretty cool, effective man. as well. So at least you know people are paying attention and tuning in. Awesome. Hey, so, you know, because, it's, because we have such short time frames, um, I've, I've created, I have, a, um, I have a course, dude, that I've been selling for like 2,200 bucks. I've been given some discounts, for, you know, 1,700 bucks or whatever. Brother, I'm, I'm willing to give your, your, the, the, this group, low, you know, uh, Lolo, uh, free access to the, um, to the, to the, to the, to the course. What um, it is, is it's, it's our, um, it's our case study program where uh, now it's virtual, it's all virtual stuff. So it's not the live people that are probably on the call have paid for this. So I don't want to get like a barrage of like, Hey dude, you're giving it for free, but it's the virtual thing. Uh, you can go in we'll give you complete access to it live. Um, it's um, how to do, how to basically set up your calendar for one-on-one -on -one meetings, face to faces, um, teaching classes. Now, this was originally set when we could go out and see people face to face, you know, back in the old days, uh, when you can go out and see somebody and shake their hand, kiss some babies. And uh, we're actually doing a coronavirus um, edit for it to be able to, everything that I talked about here with the Zoom meetings um, is going to be li live inside there. And dude, I mean, I'll give you guys access to it. I think it's a 14 day free trial. I'm trying to get them to bump it up to 30 days because, um, you know, there's a lot, there's six weeks of content in there. So, dude, everybody can have access to that if they, uh, you want me to give them the link to go to? Yeah, if you want to give the link or force them to write a comment and we give them the link later. <laughs> oh, yeah, I like that. That's super cool. <laughs> yeah, I think tell them, tell, tell the people, write, write a comment and say, hook me up, Mike, and we'll yeah. come back and I will make sure that either I PM you or we drop another comment back and we'll give everybody the comments, hook me up, Mike. We're going to make sure you get access to, to Michael Mann's case study group. 
Yep. So, and, and, and that that's good. It'll give me a little bit more time to get the um, get the link working. Yeah, It was so good you had to say it twice. Yeah, I had to make sure everybody heard double double heard <laughs> just to make sure you really got the message there. Yeah, right, no, well, that's, I can see dude, people definitely want it because everybody's ready to hook me up, Mike. It's going ham right now. Yep, absolutely, dude. So you'll get week, you know, all six weeks. You know how to set your calendar in advance, and now it's a virtual calendar. How to uh, call real estate agents to get the meetings. What to say at the virtual meetings. How to do the live happy hours. How to do the live workshops. How to get the interaction. Keep going with that, and then the the, the biggest piece of this is at the end is when you get the meeting, have the meeting and say all the right things, how to get them, wait for it, agreement, not expectations. How to get them to agree to give you their next buyers and actually do it and do it in a non-sleazy way, super cool, but um, that gets super, super results. So dude, you know, that's, that's my contribution to the group. Awesome. Legion of loan officers, man, you guys, Nick, you built such an amazing group of individuals and I just I'm I'm honored to be able to share with it share with you guys so thank you thank you so much me up Mike let's go so the one word I would use to describe the Legion of Loan Officers is confidence I would say epic it's epic brilliance the minds of the people that are in the Legion of Loan Officers are absolutely brilliant one word mind-blowing freedom freedom. It's given me so much more freedom with my time, um, with the way I conduct my business and my finances. The confidence that I have now, as opposed to when I started, is just, it's off the charts. I'm comfortable being me. I'm comfortable uh, putting myself out there. Despite the fact that we're all in the same industry and a lot of us are in the same states, there's no competition. It's nothing but respect and leveling each other up. So that's epic. Like, you're not having to chase the business down. You, you have built relationships, partnerships with agents, and that is worth its waiting for.